In this video, I want to show you some advanced editing tools for podcast. Nothing that I discuss in this video will be required to complete the assignment attached to this section. However, I will discuss some things that will help you take your podcasting to the next level. First thing I'm going to do is to create an audio track, and I'll teach you how to do some advanced editing. So again, I'm going to press the record button. In this video, I want to discuss advanced editing in podcast. We're going to look at how to add background music, how to insert sections, and how to edit the noise. Now I'm going to press stop, and I have a basic audio recording to edit. You'll notice in a lot of professional podcasts that there's background music at the beginning and at the end of the video. There's a couple of sites that you can use to download free background music, but one site that I found that's very helpful is purpleplanet.com. I'm actually going to share a link in the description for the video. But what I did was I went to this site and I clicked on Upbeat as a category of music. You can actually listen to the audio tracks themselves. And if it sounds like something that you'd like to add, you can click the download button. I'm going to download this track. Once you have the track downloaded, you can actually drag it into Audacity. I'm using Mozilla Firefox as my web browser. There is a, a button here that shows me my downloads. Um, I'm going to click on this and click on the folder icon. It shows me the folder where the MP3 downloaded. So now I'm going to go back to Audacity. I'm going to get the folder and I'm just going to drag the file onto the track. It takes a second but it does add the file. You'll notice that there are two tracks here and that's because this mp3 like most mp3s is in what's called stereo. So in other words it's set up for the left and the right speaker of your computer. Another way to pull in the audio track once you download it is just to go to file and import and audio and then you can search your downloads folder to see if you can find the file. Now that you have the file in here you'll notice that the file is much larger than the actual podcast itself. What I want to do is I want to have background music playing at a normal tone that I want to quickly decrease it and then have it playing very softly in the background as I give the podcast. At the end of my podcast, I want the music to fade in. To do so, I want to cut off the track, giving myself a couple of seconds at the end of the podcast. So you see, the podcast ends here. I want to allow a couple of seconds so that I can fade out at the very end. Um, I want to take the extra that I'm not going to use, highlight it, and then press delete. So now I've cut off the part of the track that I'm not going to use. Let's go back to the very beginning. I'm going to click skip to start and press play. In this video, I want to discuss advanced editing. Okay, so you have the track here, and you'll notice that it's awfully loud at the beginning, and it certainly overpowers my voice in the podcast itself. There's a couple things we want to do. Since I want more of a gap in between the music itself and my voice at the beginning of the podcast, I actually need to move over the podcast part. To do so, you want to click on this button that says Time Shift Tool, and this allows you to drag tracks across your timeline. So you see I dragged it over a little bit, so now I have a little bit of gap here between the beginning of the track and when my voice actually begins picking up. Now I want to fade in the audio track so that it doesn't overpower my voice in the podcast. What I'm going to do is click on the envelope tool. What this does is this allows you to modify the volume. So I'm going to click on this area right here. I'm going to make the track itself a little bit quieter. In this video, I want to and now I need to fade it where I actually begin talking. So with that envelope tool checked again, I'm going to click on the audio track beneath where I actually begin speaking. 
and now I see another set of dots. I'm going to click and drag these dots. I'm going to make it very small. And now you see I have a good fade in. The audio is still in the background. You can hear it, but it doesn't overpower my voice. I'm not quite happy with where it begins to fade. I actually think that the fade needs to happen at the moment I begin speaking. So that's easy to fix. All I do is click on the time shift tool, and I'm going to move this over a little bit and press play again. I like the way that sounds. So now I want to do the same thing but in reverse for the end of the track. What I'll need to do is click on the envelope tool. Then I want to go to the end of the track here and I want to click on this. I kind of want to make it the same width as the very beginning of the track. You'll notice that it starts fading in from the point where I had it to fade out at the beginning. So what I need to do is I need to create another place where I want the fade to happen. Looking up in this track here, you'll see this is about the area where I stopped speaking. So I want to go down here. I want to click on this track and then I want to make it narrow again. And now let's listen to what it's done. In this video, I want to discuss advanced editing in podcast. We're going to look at how to add background music, how to insert sections, and how to edit the noise. You see here at the very beginning, there is about half a second where it's playing at normal volume, so it, it doesn't start to actually level off until about a second in. If I want to do that at the end, all I have to do is click on the envelope tool again, and I can move this out and I can make it look like this end. If you want to listen to what it sounds like now, click on the selection tool, click towards the end and press play. Edit the noise. So now the last second or half a second, the audio track is playing at regular volume. It's often the case when you're recording that there's something that you forget to mention in the track. In the previous video, we discussed how to edit out portions of your track where maybe you have ums and ahs or there's a moment where you forget your next line. You can also add audio if you need to. So let's say that there is a correction that you need to make. What you need to do is just highlight the area with the selector tool and then you want to just press the delete button. Now the next step, and this is very important since you're going to add audio in this section, you actually have to split the track. So you, you're going to click on edit, clip boundaries, split. You'll notice what this does is this actually creates a black line in between the track. To move the track you will click on the time shift tool and you will see now that you have a little bit of a gap. Now you want to mute the music and you want to mute the original audio and you want to press the record button. Hey guys this is exactly what I forgot to tell you about earlier. I wanted to include this. Now that you have this additional insert you are going to highlight it with the selector tool and up here you can press copy or you can actually press cut and we're going to go up to the top track, unmute it and paste. What this does, this adds the addition to the original audio track. Going back to the time shift tool, I can pull this back and now I'm going to click on the selector tool and play it. Hey guys, this is exactly what I forgot to tell you about earlier. I wanted to include this. So now you successfully added portion in the middle of the track. Now that you're done with the project, you want to click on File and Save Project and give it a name. Once you have the project saved, you can now export it as an MP3 file. Audacity saves projects in their own file format, which can't be easily read 
by an external file tool like Windows Media Player or iTunes. With the save track, you want to go back and you want to click on export. Uh, and you want to choose MP3 because as we said in the first video, that's the most universal audio file format. So I hope this video helps you in taking your podcast to the next level. Thanks for watching.